oh my god so I am back after a freaking month-long hiatus and I'm gonna make Big Brother recaps um, hopefully I do it consecutively I'm not sure we'll have to see but we'll see so anyway let's get started shall we so first let me do a little story time you know what the most annoying thing is is when you're happy to watch a Big Brother premiere, like everyone else is, but you live in Chicago, so there was a tornado warning, so they interrupt Big Brother to show a stupid two-hour-long news forecast. So now instead of watching Big Brother 7 to 9, you have to watch it to 12.37 to 2.37. So I was pissed about that, and I was ranting with many Chicagoans out there of how pissed I was about this. So anyway, let's just get started. I'm going to try to go through this quickly because my camera has very low memory, so let me, let's just get started. Okay. So Julie Chan introduced the house. It's very like airline themed, like a different country themed or whatever. And she introduced the house guests. Um, I'm going to go through them quickly by one word or phrase. So of course, Tiffany and uh, and Polly are the two, are a, uh, brothers, brother and sister of two big brother, former big brother house guests. Polly is um, Cody's older brother, I think, or yeah, older brother. And then Tiffany is Vanessa's younger sister, I believe. Um, they look just like their siblings. Um, Tiffany talks and looks like Vanessa, so that's not going to get her far, to be honest. If she's trying to conceal that secret, federal secret. Because if I, if they, if they try to put like, if my sister went on the show after I did, because come on, I'm going to be on the show. Um, we're going to look like nothing alike. She look, she looks, we look adopted. So. You know, even my brother too. All my family members, we don't look like. Actually, I look more. I look. I look very much like like my cousin, even though even though we're like we have different moms. But whatever, that's a different story. So anyway, that's them too. We have Michelle, the 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 diet bitch. We have Natalie, the cheerleader bitch. We have Bronte, the math bitch. We have um, Jose, the 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 gay over the top fake bitch. We have Victor, the Latino bitch, which I'm very happy about because there's not many Latinos in Big Brother. I hope he wins to represent the brothers. Um, that's seven. That's eight, I think. Um, next is Paul, the annoying bitch. Then we have... Um, who's number nine? Bridget, the doctor bitch. Then we have um, number 10 is uh, Josiah, the floater bitch. And then we have uh, two more, two more, two more. Um, come on, come on, come on. I got this. We have Glenn, the dog groomer bitch. And then we have, for the last one, I got this, I got this. Okay, and the last one was Corey, who is the... Okay, Corey, who is the, fo the, the soccer coach bitch. Anyway, so there's 12 house guests, and the 12 house guests knew there was going to be more people... And Julie Chen said, oh, first of all, let me just say the how cunty Jose was when he told uh, Glenn, yeah, 50 is the new 20. He's like, 50 is not the new 20. Like, I enjoy shade as much as the next guy, but when you're just being an asshole, like, come on. Don't be a cunt, okay? Moving on. But anyway, so then there was four stowaways in the house. And then the first stowaway comes and it's Nicole. I was shocked if you guys watch um, my Big Brother, I think, 16 recaps. I was a huge fan of Nicole. Uh, it kind of sounds like Anna Nicole's move. But anyway, I was a, few, a huge fan of Nicole. I was so happy to see her. She looked good. And she said she's single. I didn't know she broke up with Hayden. But anyway. Um, so, of course, everyone's like, oh, shit. Here, here comes an, a newbie. Uh, I mean, a veteran. So, of course, uh, Paul, jo uh, Jose, and then um, that's a, the Gaia girl, she, they all went, they're like, oh, yeah, this is a good, solid alliance. You know, they're trying to be like, trying to make alliance in the first two minutes while being in the game. Like, come on, whatever. So, let me just say, Paul, literally for the whole two episodes that aired, his 99.9% .9 of his diary entries were all about the veterans. We have to get the veterans out. We have to get them out. Not fair. Like, Big Brother's not fair, okay? Shut up. Like, oh my god. Like, he is like the token bitch of the season. It's not a girl this time. It's a boy. And he's on his period. He must have some, like, Eric Cartman says, any South Park fans, he must have some sand in his vagina because, boy. Just 
bless your heart. Anyway, so they all introduce themselves, blah, blah, blah. And why is it on Tiffany's, um, why did Tiffany say when she was uh, introducing herself that she teaches people in middle school, but in reality, she's a high school, she, it says in her little diary room, she's, she's a high school teacher. I don't know. But anyway, the other stowaways were James and then for Frank and Davon, I already seen. And Davon is officially the, the, I think the girl, um, who, who to ever enter the big brother house with being, um, evicted, uh, the, the earliest because first it was Jace with big brother all stars. Now it's her. So anyway, um, so Julie Chen told them that they would have to work in groups of four. So four on four on four on four. And they, and veterans couldn't be on the same team. Huh. And someone else was, and someone was going to leave the big brother house before like the summer even started. Huh. Doesn't this remind you just of Big Brother 14 except the coach twist without the coaches? Really? Has Big Brother really ran out of ideas? Federal ideas? Like, you couldn't think of anything else? Whatever. It should have been, I think that it should have been, one person was paired up with a twin. With a twin. One person was paired up with a brother or sister and go ham on them. Anyway, that's my opinion. Um, so their, comp their first competition was, it wasn't an HOH, but it was, a, there was a competition where, so the four teams they chose, um, I think on team Nicole was Corey, was, uh, Corey, Glenn and, um, uh, Tiffany on fucking James's team was, um, Victor, Michelle and Natalie, I think. And then, and also, by the way, I thought Corey was homo because he was talking about how good Victor looked, but no, he wanted a bromance. Fuck you, trying to toy with my emotions. Anyway, and then on team, Davon was, um, Paul, uh, J J Josea and, um, Josiah, whatever the hell their names are. And then on team, Frank, uh, was, uh, Bronte, Bridget, and Polly. So... They each all had to get on a rocket, and whichever team, the team got a certain reward or punishment depending on who would, which team would land, first, second, third, fourth. So the team that landed first were Team Davon, and they lost, so they had to be have knots for the week. And then um, second week, the uh, second person who, who fell were Team Frank, and they got a surprise punishment. The third team that went was um, Team Nicole, so they got money. And then the fourth team were completely safe and could not get nominated at all. So that was Team James. So then they all were, I guess, talking, whatever. And the second competition was uh, basically the have not the first have not competition of Big Brother 15 where they had to hold the thing with the rope. Except I think they had to do it with I don't know what I think blocks, but in this case it was with um, with um, fake sand to make a sand castle. So the people who won that were Team Frank, so they were safe. And then their last competition was they had to build a sand castle with it had to be puzzle like and they tell and Big Brother tells you when you get it right or wrong. Team Davon ended up winning that and I was petrified because Nicole has a chance of going home, a 25% chance of going home, and I was so scared, legit fucking scared. Like seriously. <sighs> My heart was beating, seriously. And today, Thursday comes. And um, Nicole is just very nervous that she's going to be the first one to go home. And of course, Paul is talking so much shit, so much fucking shit, saying, oh, the veterans need to go, the veterans need to go. Like, boy, shut the, shut your ass up. Like, seriously, he's like the token bitch of the season. I can't stand his ass. So anyway. Um, oh, yeah. So then um, I forgot to mention in the first episode, uh, Cody's brother, he reveals he's Cody's brother. Let's do a uh, a drinking game. How many times uh, Polly says, "I'm Cody's brother," refers to his brother. Um, and then uh, and then Vanessa's sister tells Davon when Davon already knew. She looked at her like, "I ain't gonna say anything, but I see the little I see the identical poker player right next to me," you know. Um, and then uh, Tiffany tells Michelle also, and um, Tiffany told Michelle, "Hey, do you, are you Nick Nicole's sister? Because you look like her." And she's like, "No, the people say that, but I'm not." So the second episode comes and they're just talking, getting ready for the competition. Um, I don't really know. Oh, sorry. It's, it's still going. So, 
so then uh, of course when all the newbies are in the are in the same room um freaking paul tells everyone we need to get the veterans out. we need to get the veterans out and it's like bro you are preaching to everyone that you need to get the the, the freaking veterans out when if you don't know this is big brother and everyone's gonna start talking crap of what you're saying if they agree or not so you're just putting your game in danger i don't know so um all the four veterans were talking and they were saying that nicole needs to win the hoh so nicole goes to talk to corey and she tells she tries to make him think of like trying to manipulate him saying like she should win it but it should come out of his mouth and of course he fell for it and she's like yeah maybe i should win it young yeah, because i feel like i don't want to get the blood in your hands so the competition was um it was a coconut tree and they were stuck in an island and they had to get coconuts from a tree and they had to put it on on a sign that said sos on it so they ha had to put coconuts on it but the twist was that the island rotated and moved when you moved so there was a chance that coconuts co coconuts could fall and of course i was scared out of my freaking mind and um so then lo and behold in this competition nicole came victoria she was the first one to complete her sos sign and i was so excited i was like a big weight has been lifted off my shoulders i was cheering for that bitch she won i'm so excited she gets to stay another week um oh by the way i forgot to mention the people that were safe they were safe for two weeks so team james cannot get nominated for two weeks so so then uh, of course tiffany was saying that there's a lot of pressure on her because vanessa was such a strong player and she doesn't want to go home first and she 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 was upset the fact that she lost three competitions and that bitch served it because that bitch was second place and oh my god i was happy for it too i wanted her to stay i'm gonna get to like my little predictions in a while so anyway so then after that it was against Corey and glenn and it was neck and neck glenn had all his all his coconuts on the sos sign and he just needed a he just needed to grab that flag to to show that he's safe but he was taking his good ass time good ass time and Corey was right behind him and what happens they both grab it at the same time so it was a tie so they looked at the screen grab to see who grabbed the first and it was Corey and Glenn's uh, coconut rolled when he got the flag so it wasn't official so Corey got it and he's safe it was like a neck and neck thing it was crazy like literally like my heart was beating out of his out of my chest so anyway what I was thinking last night I was thinking like legit like to be honest I don't I feel like Glenn is the is the one that was going home in my opinion because Nicole's the veteran she can't go Vanessa uh, Tiffany's Vanessa's sister she can't go Corey's hot she can't go and there's Glenn Bye. That's what I thought, in my opinion. I'm sorry, Glenn. You know, I, I'm sure you're a nice guy, but he had to go. Um, and he was very, he was upset and kind of happy at the same time, I guess you could say. Battle say. So then, after that, um, they had to discuss who to be HOH. And of course, fucking um, Paul is like, Nicole, Nicole got to stay. I'm so pissed. And then, of course, once Nicole won HOH, they put that camera right up to his face and he's like his face i just laughed and laughed when nicole's like i want to enjoy it and he's like corey what the hell you didn't you didn't ask for a joint i was like bro calm your tits first of all you're not in that position why don't you win hoh like i'm sorry i'm sorry motherfucker like anyway that just he just irritates me honestly even he irritates they bonnie he irritates everybody i they should have put him on the block but whatever so anyway, so then of course Paul, Paul was having stand in his vagina and he was being a bit a total asshole to everyone. And then, um, and then they were talking about getting out the veterans or whatever. And then Victor goes up to Nicole, and he was talking to her, saying, "You know what you're gonna do? What are you gonna do? Blah blah blah." And Nicole's like, "I don't know yet. I don't have a strategy yet." And then Victor was basically taking off his shirt, trying to flirt with her, but she was not having it at all. And they were trying to play the sexy music, like, ooh, what is Victor going to do? And Nicole's just standing like... So 
So then Victor started to say that, oh, you know, in my opinion, uh, Jose is going after you guys, blah, blah, blah. And just totally throwing his friend under the bus. Like, really? You obviously is not, have not watched Big Brother. And then there's a clip of Jose. Oh, seriously, this is like the season of Big Mouth because everyone opens their goddamn mouth. And then here comes Jose um, telling uh, Davon, I'm the messiah of um, the the veterans. And then Davon's like, oh, really? And then freaking Jose is like brat gloating on and on. He's good at everything, bitch. Really? Are you good at shutting up? Because you obviously failed at that, you know? That's the shade. That's the truthful shade. That's not crap shade that he throws. Anyway, so then he started to say, he started spilling his whole game to Devon. I'm going to take out Nicole first and then Frank or James, then Frank. I'm like, are you a fucking idiot? Like, have you watched this game before? Like, you are legit putting yourself on a pedestal to be up on the chopping block, bro. Like, you don't talk bad about the HOH on their reign. Because their ass is like God, and they'll put your ass on the block. Oh my God, and Damon's like, Damon even said it best. She's like, you're really telling me this. Like, wow. And of course, Damon tells Nicole all this that happens. And then Nicole's like, then I'm putting his ass up on the block. But she needed a pawn. And she wants to put cute little Polly, and I don't want her to. And in the nomination ceremony, she ends up putting Polly and uh, Jose up. And I'm so upset because I like Polly. I hope to see some of his fine ass later. Um, yeah, so, uh, hopefully Polly wins this veto and sends jo Jose packing. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to, I want to root for my fellow LGBT member, but he, he, I just see him as fake. To be honest, I just see him as like another Frankie. I'm sorry. And he says he's a celebrity makeup artist. What celebrities have you put makeup on? Cause that girl that right there, she doesn't look like a celebrity. Anyway. Like, I don't know, I just feel like with some gay guys, they, like, are so over the top, like, overly, like, charismatic, and I'm just like, there's, there's no need for that, just be you. You know, like, I wouldn't call myself a prude, but I certainly don't act like that in my everyday life, okay? Like, I don't. Really, I don't. I don't know what to say. It's just like, be you. You know, I, like, it just seems fake to me, what you do. Anyway, that's all I got to say, but I'll say don't really know what what else to say um besides i'm back bitches anyway until next time bye